Hey everyone, this video is going to walk you through some quick steps to help you sign in and take advantage of the Lenovo Mini PC that's attached to the back of your Mimeo interactive flat panel. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that, that uh, Lenovo Mini PC is turned on. And so on the back of your Mimeo, you'll find that Lenovo PC attached. Just hit the circle power button that's there. It will turn white uh, and then there will be a little uh, white light above that power button that starts blinking uh, and then uh, that will let you know that the mini PC is powered on. Now on the Mimeo screen itself, if you don't see the Lenovo uh, icon and then the sign in screen for the, the, P the mini PC, you'll just have to switch over to that uh, input. So from your Mimeo panel here, you can either choose the input option here on the home screen or you can open the toolbar and from the toolbar uh, select the menu option. And then from there, you'll get a little option there of different inputs and you'll just want to select the HDMI 1 or it might say mini PC. It could have been named differently, but it should be that second option there for the HDMI input. Then it should switch over. Uh, if it's still booting up, it might be a black screen. You might also see a, a no input or can't detect an input. And that's usually an indication that the PC is not turned on. And so you need to make sure that it is turned on. Uh, the login screen should be a, a blue screen just like this, just like if it was a, a normal PC. The next step is to sign in. If you haven't already signed into it, uh, there might be another user logged into it. In that case, you would just select other user from the very bottom left of the screen and then type in your district email username and then input your district password. And you'll notice here that you are signing into your work account. And so the nice thing about this PC is it's going to sync with all your work information. Once you hit that, just hit enter and then it'll start populating all of your district information. Now, if this is the first time you're logging in, this could take a while because it's going to take some time to set up your entire district account onto this mini PC. And so it might take a few moments, but eventually you'll see the, the home screen here uh, and it'll already pre-populate uh, different web browsers for you onto that desktop. To access a lot of the applications that are already preloaded for you, you would click on the little window icon that's down on the bottom toolbar next to the search. And so here you'll get to see all of the applications from Microsoft that are already downloaded for you. You can also see that once the computer has had time to sync with your district account, you'll see your name down here at the bottom with your little uh, icon that you have associated with your district account. Uh, you also have your settings here. And so clicking that window gets you access to everything on the computer. You'll also notice you have Chrome already downloaded, ready to use. And one of the best ways to use uh, your mini PC is to use that Chrome and then to sign in to your district account. So I'm going to walk you through some steps for that. We'll just click on the little icon, click sync, and then you'll go through that same sign in process that we use to get into the computer. You'll type in your district email. Uh, then you'll see the EPISD login screen. So again, you'll type in your email. You can even just use your username this time. Click continue. And then it's going to take you on uh, to put in your password. So you put in your district password, click continue, and then that should sync your district information. I will go ahead and click to save your password here because uh, you are logged into your account and so no one would have access without that password. Click continue to verify that you know it's a district account. Um, you also want to click to uh, continue here. And then make sure that you turn on your sync. What's nice about using your sync is that no matter what device you're on, if you create a bookmark or save a password for a website, uh, it'll show up on any other device where you're signed into the same account. And so you'll see here that uh, once I've got my Google Chrome signed in here, I have all my work uh, bookmarks uh, set up. Once you sign in for the first time and choose to save all of that, it's going to be set up and ready to go. And so whether you're working on your MacBook uh, at home or at your desk to create something or you're working on the panel itself, you'll have access to all those same uh, usernames, passwords, bookmarks, and everything saved and synced for you. It makes teaching your lesson uh, a little bit more easy to uh, 
have to not have to continually look for things that you want to use for your lesson. Now, at the end of the day, if you want, uh, you can go back to that little window icon there in your toolbar. And we can sign out for the day. So you would just uh, click your name at the bottom here and then choose to sign out of your account. And so that takes you back to that login screen. And that way you can just leave this here. And when you come back the next day, just long, log back into uh, your user account. Now, if you're shutting down for the week, because uh, you want to shut down the computer on your Friday, over in the bottom right, there is a power button. And so you can go down there, select that power button, and then choose to uh, shut down, just like you would your computer. And then that Lenovo will shut down so that when you come back on Monday, you start it back up and it's fresh and ready to go. So I hope this is helpful in getting you set up with your Lenovo Mini PC that's attached to your Mimeo IFP.